Hello, my name's Steve Nabel, and today I'm speaking with Aileen Gorkdal on conscious dating. Now, Aileen graduated in business law at Vienna University of Economics and Business, and she's currently studying, actually, psychological astrology and doing a PhD in business law. But she worked in marketing, sales, and tutoring for years. She now works in a very different field, co-hosting workshops in conscious dating, cacao ceremonies, and moon rituals. And she's the CEO of Aratis Spiritual Dating and Community app. So, hi, Aileen. Hi, Steve. So nice to to be with you today. <laughs> yeah, lovely to connect with you. I mean, we chatted before. It's, it sounds a really interesting business you're in. But I want to ask you, how did you move from the business world dating world that's a bit of a switch isn't it yes yes it's a bit of a switch um i i was always interested in in entrepreneurship and innovation and, and yeah i wanted to do something impactful in this world and i also wanted to do something which covers all my strengths and yeah offer something meaningful and then yeah, I decided to be in the dating field combined with astrology. And what attracted you? What was the thing that pulled you into the dating field? Was it personal experience like, hey, I want some dates or was it something else? Yes, it was also personal experience. The The dating apps were so su superficial. And I also noticed that there is a high demand uh, in astrology and um also friends of mine um, wanted to check always the star signs uh, before they go on a date. And I was like, oh, why there is no dating app which is combining astrology with dating? And yeah, so I came up with this idea. <laughs> oh, great. So it seems to me that dating has changed over the years. Certainly in my parents' day, people met, you know, it, it used to be, I think it was dances. People used to go to dances. And uh, when I was growing up, when I was younger, it was um, I met my ex-wife through work and uh, it was all these social events. But nowadays, there's with the Internet, there's all these apps come up like Tinder is probably the best known, I think, where you're swiping left and right. It's just like a quick, oh, I like them. I don't like them. Um, how was how have you seen a dating change before Internet and after Internet? Yeah, I also noticed um, the other dating platforms like Tinder and the superficiality and also the energy within this app and um, everything was just about your appearance and not nothing about your real, true, authentic self. And um, women have a lot of offers uh, for dating and also chats. And sometimes it's not that easy to get a good overview, which is the perfect dating candidate. And um the horoscopes and all in all the star signs can help you to yeah inspire you to select consciously your potential dating partner and um i experienced it also by myself with the psychologic astrology it helps me a lot to understand myself better and to understand what i truly need and want and being really mindful and conscious about my boundaries and this helped me to figure it out and um yeah and i wanted to offer this also to all the others and yeah and so so it came up with this idea and i noticed that women really like it and not just women also men um are starting being more conscious and they really want to talk to real women instead of chatbots and astrology is a very very useful tool to to do this <laughs> well in terms of astrology so if somebody signs up um what do you, what do you do in, what does the app do in terms of astrology what does it start linking up and look at mm -hmm. uh, when you sign up you um you also uh, put your birth time and uh, birthplace and we are calculating the three bigs in astrology so um, it's the rising sign and the moon sign and of course your sun sign and there is a law behind astrology and it can tell you a lot about um yeah good combinations and compatibility with others you can use it for friendship business partnership and of course for romantic relationships 
and we are showing it in the percentage so you also see the profiles of all the other users we are call calling them moonies um, because the moon sign is so important in astrology because the moon reflects all your emotions and yeah. Yeah, and, and this helps you to understand, okay, which other Muni is in a good alignment with me and emotional aware. And yeah, and we are showing the percentage and you decide uh, what you want and if you believe in it or not. And uh, we all have a lot of moonies who are not um, knowing en enough things about astrology and that's not the problem at all because we um, give you this information and help you to understand it so in terms of like moon signs uh, i think i always heard that it's very useful if you're the same element like um, or even so my partner and me we're both pisces moon and i found me being a Pisces moon, I always get on very well with other people in terms of dating in my past that had Pisces moon. Uh, so can you say something about these moon relationships? Yes, it's uh, correct that when you are in the same element, you're in a really good alignment. And um, if it's the same sign or if it's the other sign in, within the same element, my moon is Gemini. So for me, um, Gemini's uh, moon sign are good, but also Libra and Aquarius. And um, the, it's also like this, that not just the same element, um, for, for the air signs, as an example, fire elements are also a very good compatibility. And for water signs like Pisces, also earth signs are, are in a good alignment. So there is this law behind um, behind this, this astrology tool. And yeah, you can use this information to oh, your great. Faith. Well, I... Um... I, I, I studied a bit of astrology. So before I dated, started dating my partner, I I got her chart. I asked her, hey, I just want to see your chart. And I checked, you know, hey, is this going to work out? So she, she's Aquarius and I'm Libra. Uh, she is Pisces moon. I'm Pisces moon. Um, her rising sign is Libra and mine is Scorpio. So what do you think about that? How, how would you, if, if what, what would your app put us together, do you think? This is a this is a great uh, match. We we would call it stars align. <laughs> right. On the sun sign, um, uh, your sun signs are in the same um, element, and your moon sign as well. And those are so important. Those are also the core the the, the core um, yeah um, law law you you should um, consider in in really uh, fruitful uh, relationships. And Libra also gets good along with Scorpio rising. Um, so yeah, you would have for sure within our app more than 85 or uh, or 90 percent so this is this is a really good match <laughs> oh very good do you think in your app you'll expand it in terms of the astrology or you think you that's enough right now because from I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking in terms of perhaps venus and mars alignments those kind of things are you thinking of it might expand eventually that you might do more i know it's quite complex the whole astrology thing Yes, yes, it's quite complex, but yes, we expanded also to the Mars and Venus. They are very important as well. And um, Sunastri, in astrology, it's called Sunastri. And you can um, compare both charts with each other and also compare it with the transits. And there, there is a really a lot of... Um, information you will get out of it and we don't just want to um focus on astrology we also want to implement a uh, human design numerology and personality oh. traits. oh right human design as well yes yes human oh, design wow. <laughs> so i'm a generator four six my partner is a projector i forget what she is so we're always having this challenge of um so even though our astrology works the the uh, generator projector has some beautiful th dances together, but there's also some challenges. So we've had. So it's great. It sounds like it's going to be a very co co um, uh, intricate app that you're designing. Yes, yes, and 
we are so excited for that and we also did a lot of researches and we need um, a little bit time from the technical part to implement it and we found out that there is a great correlation between uh, astrology human design numerology and personality types and there we want to consider the 16 personalities and it's so beautiful to see that when you are uh, in a in yeah in an alignment um due to astrology you're also in an alignment due to the personality types and that's beautiful to see and also due to human design and human design uh, as an example projector and generator are a good combination the projector and uh, manifester would be challenging as an example and all right yeah <laughs> yeah wow and when you talk about personality type you talk about myers-briggs yes yes <laughs> oh the myers-briggs wow it seems like you're going to have a lot of different um things you're checking with people hopefully there'll be people who come out the other side who are hey you're a high match yeah yeah <laughs> and our vision is also a guidance so a guidance to understand yourself better because when you know yourself better you do better decisions and um, it helps you to find your soulmate and also new friends and yeah <laughs> that sounds great um i hear you also doing uh, offline events it's not just all online is it you are getting people together in so they can actually because there is a thing about chemistry isn't there that you meet someone it all looks good on paper but you meet someone there's a vibe or there's not a vibe there is that side to it as well yes yes and especially spiritual people also want to be offline and align in person and check in uh, how this is working without knowing the science uh, up front and um, we do those offline events we do conscious dating events and also ecstatic dance with cacao ceremony and guided meditation and we are splitting our participants into groups based on their moon signs and other signs like the sun sign there are different games we are doing and we had such beautiful experiences we had um our participants um matched immediately with each other after the, those conscious astro games and we and there was one couple they left uh, earlier from the event because they felt so good with each other and wanted to continue privately and it was beautiful to see how accurate it is and yeah and seeing this live um and testing our algorithm life is so beautiful <laughs> wow where are these events are they europe uh, worldwide where do you have them um, currently it's in Europe so uh, we started the first one in London and then uh, we went to Berlin and, and now we offer it also in Vienna so the focus right now is Berlin Vienna and then we want to come back to London again and hopefully um, very soon also in the States oh fantastic so um, what's your experience like with the app have you tried it out have you been uh, playing with it <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm also online on, on the app and I also had beautiful alignments and so deep conversations, conversations about rituals, about my daily spiritual practices. And I met beautiful new business partners and friends. And I also had amazing conscious dates. So it's beautiful to see this and not just for myself. I also got feedback from our Moonies and uh one of the, one of those uh told me she said he's not my type but we have 91 percent i want to figure out what is behind this <laughs> and i want to go on a date with him and it was beautiful and um, that that she decided this <laughs> oh very cool how do people find out about it is it uh, an app you find on iphone on android is there a website as well um we have a website but um um yeah, our, it's currently just working on, um, yeah, on the phone as an app. So you find it on App Store and Play Store and uh, very soon we want also to offer it uh, on, yeah, on a website. Very good. And uh, I, I, I should, I should, I've not known, how much does it cost? Is it a monthly a fee or what's, so, what's the rates or the levels of the, of it? 
right now everything is for free so right now um you can match um how much you want and chat with each other and we are we are continuously um updating our um our app and later on you will have add-ons where you can do some um yeah upgrades with subscriptions and but there will uh, still be a freemium version where, where you can use the app with the core functions and for those add-ons like you want to get further uh, insight about your um, birth chart you can uh, pay for that but you still have a lot of content for free to read and yeah to use oh it's brilliant <laughs> well maybe i should recommend it to people and hopefully people <laughs> listen to this will go and check it out Aratis. <laughs> O-R-A-T-I-S on the uh, app stores. So, Aileen, uh, thank you so much for chatting. It looks like a great project. Good luck with it all. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for having me today here. <laughs> and oh, thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure.